Crocheting. Today I'm going to show you how to seam along two pieces of Tunisian um, crochet. So how we get started. Two pieces, both haven't been bound off. So you can see I've just finished and I just simply tied a little slip knot at the end. And the same for this piece. So for purposes of the video, I've simply attached a different color to my end um, piece of yarn here. So to start is you're going to measure two times the length of the seam and cut your piece accordingly. So I've measured, that's one, come back again, and that's two. You've got your tapestry needle threaded and you're going to insert your hook from right to left under that last or first, however you want to look at it, vertical bar of the rope. So that's my end piece and under that first vertical bar. Pull that through and then I'm going to enter my hook under the second vertical bar, lift it up and twist and insert my hook. So I'm lifting and twisting and it's really important to get the twist or the seam will not look as seamless. So I'm just gently going to pull that through. And then you're going to find, do you see I've got, it's a bit fuzzy because you've got the pieces where I've joined. This was the very first under the first vertical bar and then just to the f underneath in front of it is this little stitch here. And that's what I'm looking for. It's almost the back horizontal bar, isn't it? If you look at it that way. But I wanna insert my hook into that, or my needle into that, and pull that up, okay? Now, that's the to begin. And it's a little fiddly to start with. So now I'm going to take the piece opposite me and I'm going to insert my hook into the last vertical bar of that piece and pull. And then the next vertical bar, I insert my hook underneath that and pull up. Now, from here on out, you're going to go into, when you swap sides, you're going to go into the last stitch of that side. So I went under this vertical bar, a bit tricky to see, but I went under the second vertical bar. So I'm going to insert my hook into that one and gently pull. And then it's my second loop, second vertical bar, so I'm lifting up twisting and pulling, okay? Now, it's on the other side that I'm looking for that horizontal back bar. So I'm going to, I see my connecting stitch there and it's just that horizontal bar, the back horizontal bar. A little tricky to see. So I'm going to insert my needle into that and gently pull and then find the next vertical bar and insert. Now I'm crossing back over so I'm going to go into the last stitch that I made which would be this one under that last vertical bar grabbing the strays, pull that through. Okay, so it's all looking a little bit fuzzy here, don't, don't panic. Then this is my second stitch of this row, so I'm going to lift up that loop and insert from behind. Okay, you can clearly see that this is the loop I'm looking for, so that's from the preceding stitch of that side 
and that's that bar I'm looking for. So I insert under that. And then find my next vertical bar. Swapping sides, so I go back under the stitch, the second stitch of that side. That's that raised twisted stitch. And then I twist the next stitch. And then I'm finding that loop underneath for the horizontal bar. That one. Pull through that. Find my next one. And then repeat. Raise the second loop of the side. Then find that loop that's being tugged, get all the pieces of it, okay, and this is what you should look, it should look like, and I'm going to show you then if I gently tug it, what happens, and it's worth maybe doing this gently throughout. There, you can't see anything. And on the other side, it's amazing and it just finishes off your work looking as though you haven't even made a join. It's bulky here, obviously, because I've used, I've shown you, with, um, I've made a contrasting color. So you continue this process until you get all the way to the end. So it looks like I've made a mistake there. That's what it looks like if you don't catch that right stitch in the back. so it fits and then I'd complete my last stitch so it's well worth doing for a really finished seam and then on the other side it's fairly noticeable as well <laughs> 